All right, well, we're going to start you off. Uh, I understand that Macon, Georgia is actually home to the smallest track you ever raced on. You got to tell us that story. <laughs> well, I didn't actually, I don't know if I actually raced on it. It was, uh, um, I, I actually learned to drive my um, first dirt car there. So that was the first experience that I, I had ever had uh, on a dirt track was, was in Macon. So it was definitely, definitely something that I hadn't done before. I grew up on, on asphalt and, and raced on asphalt my whole life from the time I was six years old up, up until uh, I am today. So I went through a, a whole time period there where uh, Tony Stewart and Ken Schrader, they all had um, their own dirt races and they all did their events at the dirt track. And, and in order to participate, I had to learn something about dirt racing. So um, yeah, it's, it's been a long time since, since that happened. Um, I guess you have some sentimental feelings for Atlanta too, site of your first win. It, yes, Atlanta has been, um, you know, a place for me that, that obviously has a lot of emotion attached to it. And, and as we go back there uh, every year, it brings back a, a lot of great memories. And you look back to, to 2001 and, and, you know, beating Jeff Gordon by just a little bit and, and all the circumstances with, with Dale passing, a, you know, a few weeks before that. I had just um, been married the, the week before. And, um, you know, so there, there, was a, there was a lot going on in my life at, at that particular moment. A lot of unexpected things, a lot of things that were, were expected um, and, and definitely changed the, the path of my life. So, you know, Atlanta Motor Speedway for, for me is, is definitely something that um, I look forward to, to participating in the event every year. And, and this year was obviously, um, you know, no different. So we're looking forward to coming back this weekend. Of course, second year in a row, you're, you're starting out here with a brand new rules package. Uh, what's that mean for the drivers and for the fans? What are we going to see? Well, it should be exciting because there are, there are a tremendous amount of unknowns at, at this particular point. And I think from a, from a fan standpoint, um, it's, it's good when we don't know a lot about what's going on. And the reason that I say that is, you know, we're, we're a very engineering um, driven sport that, that is, um, you know, lives in simulation systems and wind tunnels. And uh, from a driver's standpoint, we, we live off of uh, past history and, and there really isn't any. And, and for me, it's a, it's a little bit different even yet. I haven't, I haven't, I've never even sat in the car uh, with, with this spoiler or this rules package. I haven't done any of the testing. Uh, my teammates have, have done the testing. So um, the fortunate part is I feel like I, I know my way around Atlanta Motor Speedway, whether it's been in a, you know, a truck uh, with low horsepower, Xfinity car, or cup car. Uh, it's been a, a very uh, successful racetrack for us. So uh, we're looking forward to the challenge and, and uh, should be an interesting weekend for sure. In the uh, restrictor plate era, Atlanta has always been one of the faster tracks. It's got that old pavement surface too. Uh, uh, what, what is it about that combination that the, uh, the drivers like so much? Everything, everything about the, the pavement at, at Atlanta Motor Speedway, the drivers like. And, and the reason that I say that is, um, you know, we go to so many racetracks where the times don't fall off much. And, and you know, Atlanta is a, is a racetrack where the tires wear out, the asphalt's old and, and wears the tires out. So, you know, as, as you go through the run, the handling of the race car and where you drive on the racetrack and how you use the brakes and the throttle and all those things that, that come uh, with driving the car, they all matter. And, and when you can do things that, that make a difference with your car, um, you know, I think that, that makes the drivers uh, happy. And, and when you have options for lanes on the racetrack and there's not just one fast lane, um, you know, that, 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 that from a driver's standpoint is, is very challenging. So uh, Atlanta is a great racetrack to race on. Uh, the worst thing that could ever happen to Atlanta is they put new, new, new uh, pavement down and, um, you know, and turn it into a really grippy high-speed racetrack. It's, it's still really fast, but it has that great uh, tire fall off that, that the drivers like so much. Of course, that new rules package, you got 200 fewer horses up under the hood. Uh, is, what's that going to mean as far as the racing is concerned? Are we going to see more bunched up driving or, or is it going to be typical since everybody's got the same chunk coming off? Yeah, you know, I, I think that, you know, the restarts are going to be crazy for sure. I think those will look very similar to, to Daytona and Talladega. There'll be a lot of bump drafting and, and pushing and shoving uh, to try to position yourself in, in the right spot. At, at some point, handling will, will start to spread the cars out. And, you know, I think as, as you look at the, you know, the less horsepower, uh, you also have a whole bunch more downforce to, to go with that. And, and look, I've been, on, I've been on both sides of this fence. I've, I've seen the, the, the spoilers get big. I've seen the spoilers get small. Um, I've seen you know bodies change. I've seen horsepower taken out of the cars, and it, at some point the horsepower always comes back uh, because the engine the engine builders do a great job. I, I think for us driving a Ford, 
uh, having the Roush Yates folks and, and um, tapered spacers or restrictor plates, whatever you want to call them, uh, I think our group does, does a really good job with that. So it'll be interesting to see which manufacturer, which team uh, has speculated in the right direction this week and, and uh, how the race looks because at this point there's just a, there's a number of unanswered questions uh, more than anything just because of the fact that, that we haven't had any experience with all 40 cars on the racetrack at the same time. So it'll be, it's intriguing, uh, it should be interesting and, and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Last year, uh, you uh, didn't have such a great run at Daytona, but then you ripped off three straight wins to start the season, starting with Atlanta. You're the favorite coming into Atlanta this year. Uh, what's it mean to you to kind of, uh, uh, I guess, be the one that the field's after? Well, you know, I think as, as, you, as you look at my job, um, I, always, I always like to tell people you can't drive a slow car fast, and, and I think our, our team does a, does a great job. Uh, this will be, our, I think, our fifth different rules package that, that we've been under. Uh, since I've been at Stuart Haas Racing and we've been successful in all of them. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, Daytona is its own season. Uh, super Speedway Racing is, is difficult just to finish the races. And, and uh, we, had a, we had a good car this weekend and, and our first, first race with the Mustang was good. Um, you know, but this is really where the grind starts uh, this, this weekend at Atlanta. And, and I expect nothing different. Our, our team expects nothing different than to, than to go out and, and put ourselves in position to have a chance to win the race. So, um, you know, if that doesn't happen, then we know we have to go home and, and go to work. And, and uh, we know that this is, is one of our best racetracks. And, and uh, hopefully we can capitalize on that again this year. Well, final thoughts on, uh, on what we can expect to see this Sunday in Atlanta and your thoughts going into the race on Sunday. Well, I'm, I'm excited. You know, you know, I think as, as drivers and teams uh, head to Atlanta this weekend to, to see the, all the different uh, things that we have going on and actually get them on the racetrack and, and race the cars um, instead of, you know, the speculation and, and anticipation leading up to the event is something that we're all looking forward to getting over with uh, just because at, at this point, um, you know, we, we have several ideas of, of how it's going to look. Um, but, you know, uh, for us, we, we like to have direction. And, I, you know, I think for the fans, you know, that, that's exciting because the, the less we know about the race cars, usually, usually the, the, uh, the more intriguing things are. So it uh, should be a great weekend in Atlanta. Lots, lots of on-track activity with the Truck Series and Xfinity Series uh, on, on Saturday. Uh, obviously qualifying uh, hopefully happens on, on Friday. But, uh, you know, we're looking forward to Sunday and, and uh, seeing how it all shakes out. All right. Thanks a lot and keep it out of the dirt this weekend. <laughs> Thanks, man.